The tech world's shifting. After missing the AI hype train, or at least stumbling on it, big tech is pouring billions into quantum technology, chasing a new frontier. Google's Willow chip, a 105-qubit powerhouse, solved a problem in under five minutes that'd take supercomputers 10 septillion years while cracking quantum error correction challenges. Microsoft's chip promises stable topological qubits that could scale to millions. IBM's pushing boundaries with its Quantum System 2, scaling to 16,632 qubits, and Amazon's Ocelot chip uses cat qubits to slash error correction needs. The AI boom brought us ChatGPT, self-driving cars, and NVIDIA's $3 trillion empire, but giants like Google and IBM didn't always keep up. Now they're betting big on quantum computing, a tech that could solve problems in seconds that today's supercomputers would need billions of years to crack. Quantum computers use qubits. Think of them as superpowered bits that can be zero, one, or both at once. This weird, wonderful science promises to revolutionize everything from medicine to cybersecurity. After getting outmaneuvered in AI's wild ride, companies like Google, Microsoft, and even Nvidia are diving into quantum to redeem themselves and lead the next tech revolution. Let's unpack this story. How the AI boom exposed big tech's weak spots. Why quantum's potential is irresistible. What's driving their pivot. The hurdles they face and the future they're aiming to build. Big Tech's quantum race is blazing, with 2024 and 2025 delivering landmark advances. Google's Willow chip, launched in December 2024, is a 105-qubit powerhouse that solved a benchmark problem in five minutes, a task supercomputers couldn't crack in 10 septillion years. Its error correction breakthrough paves the way for a million-qubit system by 2030, eyeing applications like drug discovery and AI optimization. Microsoft's Majorana One chip, unveiled in February 2025, harnesses topological qubits using exotic Majorana particles for exceptional stability. Backed by DARPA, it aims to scale to a million qubits, potentially shrinking quantum timelines dramatically. IBM's Quantum System 2, showcased at the 2024 IBM Quantum Summit, pairs the 1,121 qubit Condor processor with the 156 qubit Heron chip, boosting performance three to five times over prior models with better error mitigation. IBM's roadmap targets 100,000 qubits by 2033, with over 210 partners, including universities and firms, testing material simulations. Amazon's Ocelot chip, launched in February 2025 at AWS's Pasadena Lab, uses nine cat qubits to slash error correction costs by 90%. Integrated with Breakit, it lets businesses test quantum algorithms efficiently, positioning Amazon as a leader in accessible quantum tech. These leaps, Google's speed, Microsoft's bold vision, IBM's scale, and Amazon's efficiency, prove big tech's driving quantum toward a future where it outshines AI and supercomputers. Let's take a step back to the AI craze. Picture, to 2023. AI was everywhere. ChatGPT was writing essays, Nvidia's GPUs were powering neural networks, and industries from healthcare to Hollywood were transforming. Nvidia became a titan, its market cap soaring past $3 trillion as AI demand exploded. Startups like OpenAI stole the spotlight with bold, fast moves, while big tech giants, well, some of them tripped. Google, for instance, was an AI pioneer with tools like TensorFlow and custom TPUs. But when generative AI, think ChatGPT, took off, Google's bard felt like a latecomer, clunky and outshined. IBM had it worse. Its Watson AI was hyped as a game changer, promising to revolutionize healthcare and business. Instead, it flopped commercially, overshadowed by newer models. Microsoft did better, piggybacking on OpenAI's success with Copilot and Azure integrations, but it's hungry to lead on its own terms. Amazon's AI, through AWS and Alexa, was solid but never grabbed headlines like NVIDIA's chips or OpenAI's chatbots. Even NVIDIA, the AI king, knows it can't rest easy. New tech waves come fast. These missteps hit hard. The AI boom showed that startups and nimble players could leapfrog giants. Big tech learned a tough lesson. Hesitate, and you're out. Quantum computing, still early and unclaimed, is their shot at redemption. No one's won this race yet, and they're determined to cross the finish line first. So. Why is quantum such a big deal? Unlike your laptop's bits, which are either zero or one, quantum computers use qubits. Thanks to quantum mechanics, stay with me here, qubits can be zero, one, or both at once, a trick called superposition. Add in entanglement, where qubits are linked, like cosmic twins, and you get computing power that's mind-boggling. A quantum computer could solve problems in minutes that would take today's fastest supercomputers billions of years. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a rocket ship. What can this do? For starters, drug discovery. Quantum computers can model molecules at the atomic level, potentially designing new medicines in days, not decades. Google's quantum AI team is already digging into this, simulating proteins that could unlock cures. 
then there's cryptography. Quantum could crack current encryption systems like RSA, shaking up cybersecurity, or build unhackable quantum networks. Optimization is another killer app. Think smarter supply chains, better financial portfolios, or traffic systems that never jam. Fujitsu's quantum-inspired tech, for example, is already tackling logistics and investments. Big tech's jumping in with both feet. Google's Willow chip, a 105-qubit beast unveiled in December 2024, cracked a benchmark problem in under five minutes, something a supercomputer couldn't do in 10 septillion years. Microsoft's Majorana One chip, launched in February 2025, uses topological qubits, a fancy setup with particles called Majorana Zero modes that promise fewer errors. IBM's Quantum System 2 can scale to 16,632 qubits, pushing toward machines that don't just crash from noise. These breakthroughs show Quantum's potential to rewrite computing's rules. Big tech can't afford to sit this one out. It's their chance to shape a new era. Why the rush into quantum? It's not just about cool tech. There's serious money and power at stake. The quantum computing market was worth $1.1 billion in 2023 and is expected to hit $16.4 billion by 2030, growing 45% a year. That's AI-level hype, and big tech wants a slice. Owning the patents, platforms, and infrastructure now means dominating when quantum goes mainstream, just like NVIDIA did with AI chips. Governments are lighting a fire under this race. Australia dropped $940 million on PsyQuantum to build quantum systems in Brisbane. Chicago's coughing up $500 million for a quantum campus hosting players like IBM. The US, China, and Europe are in a tech showdown, and no one wants to lose. Big tech also faces heat from startups like IonQ and Regetti, which are moving fast and raising big bucks. Take NVIDIA. They're the AI champs, but new to quantum hardware. In 2025, they joined a $750 million funding round for PsyQuantum, a startup using light-based photonic qubits that could scale with existing chip factories. Valued at $6 billion, PsyQuantum's a bold bet for NVIDIA to grab a quantum edge. IBM's racking up quantum patents, while Amazon's Bracket platform lets businesses test quantum tech. These moves are about locking in first-mover advantages. Think owning the App Store before apps were a thing. Quantum's a global race, and big tech's playing to win. Quantum isn't just a side project. It fits like a glove with what big tech already does best. AI's a big piece. Quantum neural networks could make machine learning faster and smarter, tackling problems like designing new materials. Microsoft's Azure Quantum is blending AI and quantum algorithms, aiming for breakthroughs in chemistry and logistics. NVIDIA's CUDA-Q software lets their GPUs simulate quantum systems, so researchers can test ideas without waiting for quantum hardware. Cloud computing's another win. Amazon's Bracket platform connects users to quantum machines from IonQ and Regetti, making quantum as easy as renting cloud space. IBM's quantum experience has powered thousands of research projects turning quantum into a service. This mirrors their AI cloud strategies, positioning them as quantum gatekeepers. Then there's hardware. Intel's Tunnel Falls chip uses spin qubits, tapping their chip-making expertise. NVIDIA's GPU simulations support quantum development, while their PsyQuantum bet brings photonic tech into play. These synergies let big tech amplify their strengths, AI, cloud, chips, while fixing AI error fumbles. Quantum's their chance to shine as innovators again. But quantum's no slam dunk. These machines are finicky. Qubits lose their magic if a stray photon or vibration interferes, a problem called noise. They need to be chilled to near absolute zero, which is pricey and tricky. Scaling up is tough too. Google's 105 qubit willow is a leap, but practical quantum computers might need millions of qubits. Error correction's getting better, but it's not there yet. When will quantum be ready? Google's betting on commercial use by 2030. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang is more cautious, saying 15, 20 years. It's a gamble, billions spent with no sure payoff. Sound familiar? AI was a risky bet too, but it paid off big. Quantum's uncertainty is part of the allure. Big tech's got the cash, labs, and brains to tackle these hurdles. They're not alone. Startups like PsyQuantum and IonQ are pushing hard but big tech's resources give them an edge. They're betting quantum will pay off, avoiding the AI mistakes that let others steal the lead. Big tech's quantum push is a redemption story. The AI boom showed their limits. Google's generative AI lag, IBM's Watson flop, even Microsoft's reliance on open AI. Now, quantum computing offers a second chance. With qubits that can solve problems in seconds that supercomputers couldn't touch in eons, quantum could transform medicine, cybersecurity, and more. Google's Willow, Microsoft's Majorana One, NVIDIA's PsyQuantum Bet, and IBM's Quantum Systems show they're serious. A $16.4 billion market by 2030 and global competition make this a race they can't skip. 
Picture a future where quantum computers design cancer-fighting drugs, secure global networks, or optimize entire cities. Yes, challenges like noise and a 5-10 to 10 year wait loom large, but big tech's all in, using AI, cloud, and hardware to lead the charge. Want to see where this goes? Follow the quantum revolution and watch big tech rewrite their legacy with a bold, brilliant gamble.